Good evening, Mel. Hello. Well, an entertaining match at Dartford. Uh, saw us just fall short by the odd goal. How did you see the match unfold from the dugout? Well, I was very, very proud of the players. I thought that they put in a, an excellent shift against a you know very, very good team, well budgeted, good finance, well financed, and a, a, a tough place to go. You know, they'll they'll finish up towards the top by the end of the season, they'll be in around the playoffs without any shadow of a doubt. Um, and we went there, we, we set a stall out, we rode a luck a little bit early on in the game, then as the game got on we, we grew and grew into it, um, potentially could have gone in at half time 1-1, one, one. we missed two very good chances, hit the post just before half time. Yeah. And then second half I made a change and we came out and the reality was I felt that if we got the equaliser we'd go on at least get, a, get, get three points if not one. Um, got the equaliser and I felt we were really in the ascendancy. Um, and you know you got to take your hats off to the guy. Fantastic strike. He, if he takes another hundred, he'll, he'll yeah, do that he once, do that once again, more max. Um, but we we just switched off a little bit. We we're so keen to defend. We all dropped far too deep into our box, and, and no one got any pressure on him. Um, so yeah, you look at ourselves. We always look at ourselves. But ultimately, it's a strike that you know when that flies over the bar, you look at each other and go, well, we'll take shots from there. Unfortunately, this time he uh, he caught it beautifully and right to the top corner. He did. More entertainment on Tuesday. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. A 24 penalty thriller. I didn't realise it was 24 penalties. It seemed a lot when we were out there. I know it went all the way through once. Yes, I mean, it's, it's one of those things. Penalty shootouts um, at, at a professional level, they're not, people say it's luck, it's not. Everyone does their research, everyone spends hours analysing goalkeepers, analysing penalty takers, and, and everyone goes into a penalty shootout with a plan. Um, at this level, you don't, um, because a lot of the penalties aren't available to see. So basically, it is just you know one against one, and and who comes out on top. And and certainly the goalkeepers are on top in the early part of the penalty shootout. Um, and then suddenly, you know, you don't expect to miss your first four, your first five penalties, and still be in the shootout. To be brutally honest, and then the lads came on, the ones who didn't didn't want to take one, and suddenly started scoring for, for fun. So it was, it was, it was entertaining. It, it was, was um, a strange. It was, it was a strange. Yeah. It, I mean, I haven't yeah. been involved in anything like that. So, um, yeah, all, all in all, uh, fair play to the lads who, who st stepped up and took one. I thought uh, Raven d deserved a, a call out for three saves, but then when he stepped up, he probably took the coolest penalty. <laughs> yeah, he took the coolest penalty. I, my, my words from before the game was, don't anyone take the mickey with the way you take a penalty, step up and strike through the ball. And I said to my husband, if you'd have missed that, I'd have been very, very upset because, yes, it was very cool, but it's only cool if it goes in. Um, and you do, give, you do give the keeper a chance with that type of penalty. Going back to the match, Mel, should we perhaps have put things to bed in normal time? Yeah, we should have. I mean, I, all the boys who haven't been playing a lot of football all got minutes. Um, there was a couple of trialists, new, new lads in to get minutes. You know, I'm still assessing the squad. I'm still looking at options for myself and for the team. So it was it was a, a game that allowed me to look at many, many different things. And I learned a lot from the game. I learned an awful lot from the game. Um, but yes, I mean, first half, we struggled a little bit in, in, a, in, a, in a shape we were playing. Uh, I made a tweak at half time and changed the shape. And second half, you know, the reality is we dominated it and really should have put the game to bed. I mean, even in the last minute, I think we had a a tap-in that, that we managed to hit the post with. So um, it went to penalties, but then again, more excitement, so uh, so we keep going. In the semi-final. <laughs> <laughs> and with the FA Trophy this weekend, um, we get a break on Saturday. What plans do you have for the squad? Well, we get a break from a match. The lads are all in training at two o'clock, so we'll be all here training. Um, everyone's in, and it'll be, it allows me now with tonight and then Saturday, because obviously I haven't had many sessions with the lads, I think it's three sessions since I've been here. So this allows me to get another couple of sessions in. We've then got a cup match next week, which I can decide how I'm going to approach that. I haven't yet decided. Um, depends how we get on Saturday and how we train. Um, I've got numerous trialists in, so we'll, we'll have a look and, and see how we, how we approach that game. Um, and then I've got a Thursday session before the next game. So. It, it's a nice prep with this week and next week. It's a nice prep for our next league game. There's some good feedback coming. There might only be three sessions, Mel, but there's some good feedback coming from them. So uh, you well, must be doing something right. Well, it's, ni it's nice to hear. I mean, it's different. It's a little bit different. Um, it's positive. That's that's nice, yeah. I mean, the, 
any manager comes in and creates an environment and there's no right environment or wrong environment there's just an environment that you create as a manager and some players love what you create and some players don't um, and if they don't then they need to go and look at an environment that suits them and the players who want to come and play in this environment will do so it's nice here that they're enjoying it good stuff more cup action on Tuesday with a trip to Billericay for the Velocity Cup I think it's probably for a place in the quarterfinals I've got to look it up later <laughs> but uh, with Billericay looking for at least a playoff place and probably expecting one this year um, they certainly were last year do you expect that uh, they might rest a few players? Well, I mean, Gary's a good manager and knows knows his uh, job. Um, they, I mean, I don't know the budgets in this league, but I know they're one of the biggest budgets in the league. Um, and I'm sure he's expecting to go up, let alone playoffs. I'm sure he's ho hoping to go up. Um, and he'll drive those players hard to get there. I don't see Gary going into any game without doing everything he can to win it. Um, so I'm expecting a really, really tough game from them. Um, like I said, they've, they've got a big budget, there's some good players there, and it'll, it'll be a really, really tough game. But again, it's another workout for my lads. It allows me to see them, and it, again, it allows me to work out who can do what. And uh, moving forward, as we become a better and stronger team, um, it'll help me and aid me in, in, in that sort of decision making. Thanks very much for your time, Mel. We'll no let you get off to the training ground. Yeah, in the cold. Thank you Cheers. very much. Cheers.